Now though, so you're a great communicator. It's your job to communicate as a hospice nurse, as a palliative care nurse. So what about all those people out there that aren't such great communicators? What kind of advice can you give to them for how to, how to do it? I think that it's important to sort of, as much as you can, separate this experience into the objective, right, more factual, and the emotional. One of the things that I did immediately after I left my biopsy was I went to lunch with a girlfriend and we sat at a table and we put down pros and cons of what I was facing. We also made a list of all of the people whom I needed to tell. So making lists is a great thing to do. So you, so you could literally sit down with a legal pad of paper, divide the paper in half. On one side is facts, on the other side is emotions. And so when you're telling someone, you could have that tool with you to be able to say, okay, here are the facts and here's what I'm feeling. The other thing that's really important is to do what feels right to you, right? So what I mean by that is removing this word should. So I should call so-and-so and I should call so-and-so. When I was making my list of people, it was a long list, which was a really great thing to have so many people in my life I needed to tell, but I did not feel as though I had the capacity to call each and every person by phone or to even have in-person conversations. So the thing that I chose to do was to send an email to everyone. And the point of that was that uh, first of all, everyone would get the message at the exact same time in their inbox. Secondly, everyone could hear about my diagnosis in my own words from me, combining mm -hmm. my column of facts and my column of emotions so that there wasn't that, you know, that telephone game where the, the story gets diluted and changed. Everyone heard about my diagnosis and about my next steps directly from me. So if you feel as though you would like to meet with people in person or to, to do phone calls, that's perfectly fine. The most important thing to know is that it's up to you and that you are driving from this point forward. And not to feel obliged to anyone because again, yes. it's your it's your body and your exactly your exactly. diagnosis. It's so now your let's body, talk about it's your choice, and um, each and every step is up to you.